Well, we're moving into the colder months of the year now, so I'll be adapting the angling a little bit. First thing you're always going to adapt is your choice of venue. You might stay hardcore throughout the year, stay on the water you've been on all summer or that. A lot of the waters I fish are quite sort of weedy and that. N not found in the past, weedy waters are that great in the winter. I prefer them to be shallow, weed free. Good winter history, so you know, you know that the fish are catchable. The last thing you want to do is sit on the water all winter without catching anything. I like to keep it local because several reasons, but m the main reasons to sort of stay in touch, feel in tune with the venue. So basically that would be the first thing I'd adapt in my fishing as we go into the winter. I tend to probably take a lot more notice of, of things like, uh, you know, I'll spend a lot longer up trees staring into snags trying to look for that sign and get my eye in because fish can be quite camouflaged when they're in, like, in snags or in pad roots or whatever. Water clears, fish get darker, they blend in better. So. You know, like sometimes it'd be 20 minutes, half hour or so before you even see a tail move and then the fish hardly moves, but you know they're there. Always check round the easier places to look like your snags and that first when you get to a lake. It tends to be, you know, if they're going to be there, you'll see them, with, you know, like with a bit of care. You can see, see into snags better when there's less foliage on them. And if they're not in the snags or the lily pads, you know, it, obviously my choice of water with very little weed, there's chance if you can't see them they're going to be out in the open water yeah we know that a fish could bosh out you can see it yeah you're on them or you see some bubbling which does occasionally happen in the winter uh, depending on stock um, but sometimes you can't see them so you move on to other things like I do I don't fish my lines really slack like bobbins on the deck I fish say what I call a bobbin at half mast so it can pull up for a line or you still get your drop back like if you get a bite or something but yeah take notice of line bites you know and how aggressive them line bites can be if you're fishing two rods on the same spot or something the time in between the line on one rod to the next you know you can tell what sort of range they are at times I'd, I'd adapt or I'd say my adaptions to be a lot more anal and noticing things uh, talk to other anglers you know maybe look on social media if you want to and that I'd like to see it with my own eyes and react to it in my own ways really so really fish location major adaptions on that like proper take note of it all so that's that's how I roll with that one So number three adaption, bait, very important. I don't go and spotting out buckets of particles and boilies like I probably would in the warmer months or when I'm trying to clear off spots. I'm more opportunist fishing, fishing to maybe what I know or if I'm trying to work an area, try to feed it lightly and regularly, but that goes down to my choice of water, try to keep it local. Not putting a lot out, you know, 30, 40 boilies maximum. One of the reasons I like to do this because I think the more regularly you do this that you can keep the fish feeding all winter, even making the effort to nip out on Christmas Eve and Boxing Day or even Christmas Day if you want to, get just to keep that momentum of the battle going really and keep them feeding all through the winter, it does work, I've done it for years. The other thing is if the, if the carp aren't eating it, when you put it in, when you leave in the evening or something, the last thing you want is a lot of bait left laying around the next morning when the tufties land on the lake, because they get on an area, smash it apart, maybe clear it up too much, fish are not too interested, you know. So, yeah, I, I would say I adapt my bait to keeping it more regular, but, you know, not too much of it, you know, just little and often, keep them feeding. I don't use a lot of different rigs, but I'll adapt from using, say, bottom bait rigs onto pop-up rigs. Main reason is I, I want everything like in my favour. One, I want it to be visual. I also want it to be sitting proud of the bottom, like clear from any de debris, like leaves or anything that's fallen in. And um, I'm not using, I'm not relying on a lot of bait to draw fish in and, and have a hit of fish. I'm after a bite, so I'm using minimum amounts of bait. And I want a rig to be really effective, sitting proud. Uh, I've used in rig since pretty much day one of it coming out, so I've got a lot of confidence in it. You know, confidence is key, really. You, you've got to stick with what you know, and what's going to land your fish. And the hinge rig ticks so many different boxes. 
one that I do like is you can pretty much cast it and it don't tangle as well. So if you do find your fish in the winter, you can whip a rod out to them. As long as you feel that lead drop to the bottom, you know you're fishing because it ain't tangled. You know, like everything's got to be 100%. If you're going to sit out there freezing all winter, you want to know you're fishing. And if you hook one, you want to know he's coming in. So yeah, that's what I adapt to. So, final one, number five, keep me motivated through the winter. It's a hard one, so preferably I'd like to stay a bit more sociable. Luckily, I you know go fishing with missus most of the time now, so I'm never bored in the bivy alone, sort of thing. You know, you know both humour each other and that. So, but also keep me motivated, be sociable with your mates or whatever. You know. You, you got more eyes on the water as well, and if you, if they're friends or trusted ones, you believe what they're saying and not trying to throw your blinds like some people do, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's an important one. Keep your motivation going because there's nothing worse than having a miserable time sat in a bivy. You're cold, you're bored, you know. You're not seeing a lot going on, you know. You can keep each other going, you know, like whether it's your, your missus or your friends and that. Or I'd, I'd say that's a, a good adaption for anyone to make in their angling and myself, I definitely recommend it. So.